essentially we're making Peruvian chicken with fried rice. So first things first, we're gonna marinate the chicken. So we have a few different ingredients here. Um, and marinating is one of those things that it's super easy to do. And I feel like at home, people don't marinate anything. Is garlic going here? You want yeah, me to grate so it in there for little you? Little garlic, salt, sugar, vinegar, oil, a little black pepper, cumin, and paprika. And again, this is like a super easy process that people kind of just skip over. But you do this the night ahead of time and it becomes something very different than you just have a regular piece of chicken. So. And Dan is making a great point here by using cumin and paprika, by using smoky, earthy flavors. So it marinates overnight. Rachel, when you're finished with that, if you could just put it on the tray, we're gonna yes, tray sir. this Coming. up. Um, the next thing we're gonna do, so we're making this fried rice. So there's a large Chinese population in Peru. I know it sounds odd, fried rice with this, with this chicken. And they've actually incorporated a lot of Chinese cuisine directly into Peruvian cuisine. This is kind of an homage to a restaurant in uh, New London that we really like. Uh, so we're gonna make a vinaigrette. In this vinaigrette, to season the rice is a little bit of ginger, garlic, salt, cumin, soy sauce, and then oil. Let me just put this here. And then basically, we have rice here. This is brown rice. So because of the nutritional guidelines, we have to use brown rice, a so whole grain. It's very healthy. A lot of people don't cook brown rice at home. It's a little more challenging to cook brown rice at home. It tends to get a little mushy. So the way we cook brown rice, we actually boil it like you would pasta, and it comes out really yeah, well. So most beautiful. people- Beautiful, and drain off the excess liquid. It's yeah. exactly right. So you don't see that as often, um, but it works really well, and you shouldn't be afraid to do that. So this is our marinade. We're just gonna blend this up. And again, and, this- And sorry, when you're right. making fried rice, you need it to be like leftover rice, right? Quote unquote, so you want it to be cold. So this is just an easy way to quick cool any rice. And throw it on a sheet tray, a little baking sheet, and spread it out. So the nice thing about this too is I think, you know, a lot of people don't use ovens at home. They always try to cook everything on the stove top. Uh, Cooking on the stove sometimes can be a little daunting, especially with something like rice, you could burn the rice. So this is a way that you can make fried rice and do it directly in the oven. So again, boiled rice, we're gonna mix this vinaigrette and we're gonna mix a variety of vegetables. So here we have some carrots, some onions, some peppers and peas. So this is obviously one way, we, we go heavy on the vegetables. This is one way that we can get the kids to eat vegetables. It's not always the easiest thing particularly cooked vegetables in general are hard to get kids to eat. They're very big into raw vegetables, like a dip. Cooked vegetables are challenging, so. You have to mix it up with something they love or hide it. Those are two great right. tips. Mix it with macaroni or rice, yeah. or put it under a blankie like a quesadilla, kids, and they don't this see is it true. coming. This is true. So we also, <laughs> we also have a little bit of scrambled egg here, so quite often you see egg. So we're gonna add a little bit of egg, if you don't mind, just sure, kind of getting that in there. And then this is ready to go in the oven. So like I said, typically at this point, you, you, might, it on there? Yeah, you might put this in some kind of wok or something like that, but that can be a little challenging. So we're gonna go right into a very hot oven. Want to do the do -si dough? You go in, very I'll put nice. this down. do -si dough. So w when it comes out. <laughs> So when this comes out, you see it gets a little crispy, nice like this, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna finish it with a little scallion, a little cilantro. We don't wanna put those things in beforehand because they'll kind of just die in the oven. I so, got your do -si dough chicken. What do you want with the chef? Roll. We can put it right there. That's fine. All right, we'll babe. keep it right on the tray. So, little rice, little chicken. Now again, I want you to keep in mind, this is a lunch that we would serve in a school. So this is fried rice. This is Peruvian roasted chicken, and then this is our salad. So this is corn, this is fro we had edamame that was previously frozen. Again, we're always trying to lower the cost if we can. We have Kalamata olives, which surprisingly enough, we can get kids to eat. A little feta cheese that's been kids dressed. Kids love salt and fat, just they like do. the rest of us. They do, it's all the same. <laughs>